What's up guys? I'm Roderick, aka Rob Man, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be ranking every um, mission in Gantz in level of difficulty and just like my favorite missions. I'm gonna talk about my favorite missions and uh, put them on a tier list pretty much. Um, before we get into the video, I want to give a shout out to you guys, man. We just hit 200 subs on the channel. It means a lot to me. We just hit 100 subscribers like this year, which is pretty crazy because it's still early in the year, man. So we pretty much double subscribers in a matter of like a month and a half, which is really crazy to me. Um, yeah, so shout out to you guys. Thank you very much. It means a lot. But let's go ahead and get right into the video, man. So, let's start off with the first mission in the entire series, which is the Onion Alien mission. Um, I'm putting this, I'm putting this, to be real with you, I'm going to put it in D tier. Um, you might be like, dang, Rod, it's the first mission in Gantz. You know, it's a pinnacle. It's the, it's the pilot mission. No, I don't care. Um, in the grand scheme of things, we compare to all the other missions, it falls short since in almost every category um, there's only two aliens there's only two aliens like we look at all the rest of these all the rest of these um, except for this one when you look at all the rest of these missions there's like a bunch of aliens that they have to worry about but in this one they really only have to worry about one which is the dad alien um, And by the way, this, if you haven't guessed already, this video will contain spoilers. But, yeah, I'm putting this one in deeds here. Um, and even like the dad alien, yeah, he was scary. But compared to these aliens, compared to the rest of these aliens, like, nah. Nah. Second mission is the Tanaka alien mission. Um, I'm gonna put this one like B tier. I'm gonna put that one like B tier. Um, in terms of strength, so the Tanaka alien mission is pretty much a mission that consists of these weird robot things that look like some guy named Tanaka, I guess, in like you know Japanese culture. He's like a singer or an actor or something. Um, correct me in the comments, but they're like robots that like scream at like a supersonic level and it pretty much blows your head up and you die. And like your eyeballs explode and stuff like that. You know how they like to do it on Gantz. But the thing about this mission is inside the aliens are these birds, these bird aliens and they have to be inside the suit to like survive because they can't survive in Earth atmosphere. Why? Then why are you on the planet? Then why are you on the planet if you can't survive in the atmosphere and you're looking for a place to to um, live? Go find another planet where you can live on. I don't get it. But I thought this mission was really cool because K. Corona didn't have a suit. So, and he was putting in work against, like, the boss alien. Even though, realistically, like, he the main character. Well, I can't even say he the main character is protected by plot armor because he died, like, three times. But, he was putting, he was putting in work against that boss bird without the suit. And I really like that. Um, I really think they hold the guy with the red hair. In that gang after this mission though because I feel like he really could have been like a pinnacle like member of like the core against team but he died because he said um, he was talking about against outside the mission and if you do that your head explodes I assume this right here is the Buddhist temple alien mission this one has to go S tier has to go S tier um, I think the Buddhist Temple Alien Mission is the second best arc in the entire series. 
Um, and not only because of like, oh, the fighting, you can see like the duality. You can see K. Corono's character really changed. Like, like I said, like K. Corono, I personally, I think he has some of the best character character development I've seen in anime and manga. Bro just takes a 180 and just becomes a boss. But, actually, like, in the beginning of Gantz, K. Corono, his character sort of declines in nature. He becomes very brutal, very gruesome, very savage-like against these aliens. Like, um, and I know there was an episode of Gantz where Kado was looking at um, K. Corono, and it kind of had this split image of Corono and Nishi. And we know Nishi is like, he he don't care about nobody life like he'll kill you instantly and i thought that was really crazy um but realistically though like i'm pretty sure that if we were in the situation we would do what corona did which would be try to smash on these aliens like you got it you gotta go i got it oh that's weird By the way, everybody dies in this mission except for K. Corono. And K. Corono almost died too. And I believe that that was in obviously probably top three most important parts of the show or of the manga, I mean. Um, and that kind of segues, segues, freak. I'm tripping. That leads me into the next mission, which is the. Shorty or Chibi Alien Mission, whichever one you want to call it. Um, realistically, it probably will go A tier. For me, it's S tier. Chibi Alien Mission is my favorite mission in Gantz. Um, but I will put it in A tier, though. Actually, no, nah, I'm putting it. I know I'm putting it in S tier. I'm putting it in S tier. I love. I love this mission. I love this arc, and the reason why I love it so much is because this is the only mission in Gantt so far where somebody had to do the mission by themselves. Um, like I said, at the end of the Buddhist Temple Alien arc, K. Corona was the only survivor of the mission. So when he got summoned to the next mission, apparently nobody died or nobody got summoned to Gantt. So he had to do the mission by himself. Um, it, I find it so dope. He was smashing on these aliens. He was he was like putting in major work. Like he would have them. He would like jump off a building. And they would jump after him. But since if you're in the air. You can't move when you're jumping. So he would shoot them out the air. That jump was super dope to me. Um, unfortunately he didn't complete the mission. Because there was like too many aliens. You know. He's literally in that bit 1v9. Um. Not actually 1v9, that's just me using league terminology. Um, but, and what's even cooler about this mission is, when the mission was done, the aliens followed him, followed him outside the mission and slaughtered his entire classroom. And K. Colonel had to smash on the aliens again, like in the real world. It's not like, that's so dope to me. That is so dope to me. I'm not going to lie though. I kind of don't remember the order though. I think it's like either dinosaur or ring alien though. I think it's dinosaur. I think it's dinosaur. Um. Hmm. You see, the ring alien mission and the dinosaur alien mission, they weren't like full-fledged arcs. Like, you know, the Buddhist temple alien and the onion alien and the Narari Hyon or however you pronounce it. Or Oni. Or even Takojima. It's like, these are like, I feel like these missions were put in gas to kind of showcase like how much you know, K. Corona's character is developing into like a leader. 
because at that point of the series, um, the Gantz team, they started to practice and like train together and stuff. So I feel like these were kind of just like little like a few chapters that last or missions that lasted a few chapters to kind of show you um, how much like our heroes have progressed sort of. But I mean, I think it's pretty freaking scary to go against a, a dinosaur though. But I don't even think nobody really died that was important in this mission. The ring alien mission, I'm going to put him in B tier just because I kind of like the design of the aliens. I'm not going to lie. They remind me of the um, the wraiths from uh, Lord of the Rings, which I'm pretty sure that they're based on that. The ring wraiths from, um, you know, Lord of the Rings. And I also like they involved your boy. Um, I see. I haven't read Gas in a while. Ikuzu, Ikuzo. Hold up. What is his name? Izuko. Something, something like that. The guy with the long hair in Gans that like did the massacre and all that stuff. Um. I thought he was pretty cool as far as fighting. Um, let's see. We'll do Kill Kojima. I put Kill Kojima like A tier because it's not really like a obviously it's not really an action packed like oh they gotta kill the alien. Um if you don't know for some reason Kojima is our main character's girlfriend. Uh for some reason not for some reason. I'm pretty sure she found out about Gantz. Uh, but for some reason, like, Kate Cronin didn't die. So instead, they decided to kill her to kind of wipe her, um, get her killed. So she doesn't know anything about Gantz. So it's pretty much Kate Corona trying to... Um, Defend Takojima from the rest of the Gantz team. It's pretty much all of his friends saying like, "Come on, man! Like, if we don't do this, like, we're all gonna die." And this is something that's a little funny to me, but this is really where K. Corona's character development starts to come through. Um, unfortunately, she does get killed by your boy for that mission. The um, the last mission. What is his name, bro? I'm looking at. I'm looking him up. Is it Ikuzu Gantz? What is his name, bro? Dude with long hair. What's his name, bro? Izumi. Yes, Izumi, Izumi, Izumi. Izumi. Yes, so Izumi killed uh, Takojima. He was putting in work against the other aliens. I thought he was pretty cool, man. Um, Only alien mission. I'm putting this A tier as well. Um, this is a great mission, to be real. Um, if you watch Gantz O, which I'm going to talk about, obviously I'm going to talk about Gantz O when we get to this. Um, if you watch Gantz O, like the first like five, like not five minutes, like, hmm, but the first little opening part of Gantz O is K. Chrono fighting like the final boss of the only alien mission where he dies yes k chrono dies in the only alien mission um i thought it was really dope these guys are pretty freaking strong they can like they didn't you know, like benders they can like turn their body into rock and one guy can like light himself on fire they can sh uh, shape shift and then while they're fighting them, they have like these weird behind like giant flies and stuff to fight. Like it's really cool. 
This mission is definitely worthy of A tier. These are some of the strongest aliens that they're going to be fighting in the uh, entire series. So, I think that is definitely worthy of A tier category. Now, when we get to this, the Robert Hyon mission, this is the best mission in the uh, series. For sure. And if you've seen Gantz O, then you would have pretty much seen this arc in its entirety even though there were a few changes in the show I mean in the movie um, this is a great mission man since um, K Chrono is dead uh, wait no K Chrono isn't dead he got a hundred points from Gantz and he revived himself he, re he took himself out of Gantz but he does get killed again and gets brought back into Gans. Ain't that some crap? But just forgive me for that little error. Um, so Kato is actually um, the hero or the main protagonist of this arc. And... Um, Actually, now, now, I'm, now, I'm, now I'm thinking I'm wrong. Did Corona revive Kato and then somebody else freed Corona? Or does this somebody else just randomly revive Kato? Somebody please tell me what happened. Even, even though this is my favorite manga, I haven't read this since like the ninth, 10th grade, man. So it's been like five years. Um... So this mission actually is really dope because it's a kind of collaboration between the Tokyo team and the Osaka team. So that pretty much lets us know that multiple teams can work together to, you know, kind of defeat these missions. And the other team was completely OP. They um they had like the the OP guns. They were just killing everybody, and they died. And it was up to Kato and them to, uh, you know, save the day. And this mission is the birth of that infamous picture where the alien is like pointing. He has his finger on Kato's head. Um, really, really, really great mission. This is definitely the best mission in Gantz. Out of this, uh, actually, I don't know, man. That Buddhist temple mission was pretty freaking dope. I don't know. It's between these two. Is that the Narari Hyon or Buddhist temple alien mission? Now, there's one more mission I want to talk about that's not on here. I'm going to let you guys know that I'm going to put it in beats here. But it is the Italian alien mission I can't type I can't type for real yes so this is the Italian alien mission now look at this come on y'all so these are the most deadly aliens that you're gonna see in Gantz they are like it's ridiculous they got um Teleported to Gantz with like every single Gantz um, team on the planet to defeat these statue aliens. And this is actually the first time where um, Gantz brought back the, um, the fighters because the mission would have been a complete failure. Because these aliens were destroying everybody. Like, it ripped off Corona's arm. It ripped off, like, Kato's leg. Even, like, the smallest little, like, aliens were ripping off people's heads and stuff. It was ridiculous. Um, if somebody died in this mission. Yeah, it was our boy Inaba. Our boy Inaba got smoked. Uh, yeah, he got smoked. That sucked. Uh, but yeah, man, that's going to be it for this video, man. 
if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Um, I am going to start uploading videos every two or three days. Um, if you like games, let me know what your favorite characters are, what your favorite missions are, or if there's any manga or anime you guys recommend I cover or watch, man. So, Ramen out. Peace. Actually, before I end the video, I did say I was going to show you guys my skateboard. Um, so this is my board, man. Um, it's an 8.3. I literally just started skating, though. Like, I have the skater trainers on. I'm trying to learn how to do a shove it. Uh, it's my board, man. Obviously, this is um, Yusuke Yurameshi from Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, probably my top five favorite anime ever. This is Demon Form. I think it's very clean. And before I actually end the video, though, um, since this video is about Gantz, man, I actually want to say, guys, don't lose hope of Gantz, the full Gantz manga being animated because... I don't feel like really looking it up and stuff, but if you look it up about the Gantz author, not author, the person who made Gantz pretty much said that Hollywood has to write the Gantz, so he can't really do anything about a, um, like a reboot or anything, but he pretty much said that, hey, like, in the next, like, two years, once he gets his ride back, once he gets the rights, the rights back for Gant, for Gant. Um, seeing an anime reboot isn't fully out of the question, you know. So just keep your fingers crossed. You know, I feel like Gant is definitely popular enough to warrant a reboot, man. There's so many amazing, great anime that have gotten reboots, Full Metal Alchemist, all that stuff. But Rob Man out, peace.